Okay, here we go. I'm going to do a tutorial here on Google SketchUp, which is right here, on creating rooms for Envu, specifically focusing on adding nodes, like the floor nodes, wall nodes, and the standing nodes for the avatar. Now, first, what we have to do is we have to go onto the internet and get some files. Let's just go in here and I'll go into this website first, mvproduct.biz. This is a really good website. I'd highly recommend that you come onto this website anyway and check out the software and Envu add-ons. Um, we've got some really good stuff on there, things like Cash Cleaner, which is like 100 times better than the Cash Cleaner that Envu provides for you on the actual uh, client. And if you're a content creator, um, it does a much better job at cleaning out your system of all your Envu cache so it uploads your products a lot better and easier. Uh, also things like Screeny are on there as well, they're really good. It takes like, high res screenshots of your Envu environment. That's also a really good one as well. But anyway, we're here to get SketchUp tutorials. So click on the SketchUp tutorial here and it gets you to this website page here. And let's just go down go down here now the resources we need to take mesh out and these four things here so I'll click on the program here let's take you to Neo's website and Neo has some good tips and things like that on here so take a good look at his uh, website anyway so we're here to get mesh out which is right here click on that and download it and also they come here and you click on these four, download these four they'll take you to the, the Google 3D warehouse where you can just download them from here there we are, and you click on download uh, I use uh, SketchUp 8 it's only got SketchUp 6, it still works, don't have to worry about that anyway so download all four of those and it's not recommended to do this um, it's not, not, sorry, it's not necess necessary to do this but you can do it anyway, is take one of these templates, download one of them, I've got the mail one already on my computer. I'll show you that reason in a minute. Also, we need to go onto Google, also uh, this group, there's a really good group here, SketchUp group uh, by Angens. It's a public group, so I recommend you join this one. When you do, go in here and go down and to the downloads, here we go. Click on downloads. And here we go. We want to take this one. The number nodes plugin. Download that. Let's see you got make all selected unique. Download that onto your computer. No. I've already already done this part, so it's fine. I'll go them on here. Here we are. <coughs> now, here's our SketchUp files: the ceiling nodes, furniture nodes, the avatar itself, pose, and wall nodes. And we've also got here the zips for mesh out, and this one is for the number nodes. So extract those both here. Uh, go into them. You find these uh, .rb files, and this one's got an RBS. You put those in your Google SketchUp on your C drive. So you have a C program, Google, Google SketchUp plugins, and put them into your plugins folder here. There's the node number one, and there's mesh out. If you already have uh, SketchUp running you will need to restart SketchUp for those two plugins to take effect. Okay. Also, uh, we're going to need to use this folder. This has got these two here. The example for... No, not the furniture. The room. Here we are. The room. Example room. We're going we're to need that at some point. Because we're going to take the camera from there. Okay, anyway, first of all, let's just create a simple room. I'm just going to do a box room, so let's just click on here. 
I'm just going to do it uh, 20 by 20. It's going to be a decently sized room here. Now, the reason that I got you to download the avatar, the uh, this one here, the male 5, is because it's really hard to judge um, how big your room is when you're creating it. Uh, you, don't want, you don't want to make it too big, you're going to have to resize it after that. If, you, if you've done all the nodes and then you go so, it takes a, it makes a big mess. So, we'll open that up. This will just give you a nice little male avatar. Or female, if you've got the female avatar. Whatever loads. There we go. There we are. So, just select this guy. Control, control C to copy him. Then back onto your, your room and just Control V to paste him in. And yep, that's a decent sized... Uh, just for, for tutorial purposes, it's okay. Just look at there, there he goes, he's in. This also helps you judge the height of your room. So let's just uh, use your push-pull. And get it up, there we go, that's to the top of his head. Let's make it a little bit bigger, there we go. There we are, that'll do. Now then, what we're going to do here is I'm going to just delete the top here. There we are. And I can now go in. Now, we don't really need him anymore. Uh, when you're making your rooms in Envo, I would recommend having this guy actually in your room as you're making it. So you can judge like, things like heights of your like steps, things like that. Just as you know, you've got it the right size. I mean, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't need him, but it's a good, um, it's a good guide to create. So I'm just going to delete him right now. There we go, he's gone. Now, first thing I'm going to do with this room, I'm going to select it all with Control A. Right click on there and select Make Group. There we go. Now my room is a group. In fact, I'm going to do something else here because I'm going to undo this because it's. If you're looking at the. Uh, the file. All the white sides are on the outside, which is not good. We need all these on the inside. So let's just go back here. Let's Control A. Right click on. Oh, I've still got the pan on. There we are. And reverse the faces. There we go. This way, all these white faces are facing the inside of the room. This is important for Invo, uh, so you can get all the textures properly displayed. There we go. So, now done that. There we go. Now, now we're going to select it all and take off the pan and put back onto the make group. The reason I do it as a make group, hang on. Arr. <laughs> the reason I do make group, I'll explain in a second. Basically, it makes it a lot easier to do the, the numbering of these nodes. So, there we go. There is our room. First we're going to do the, the floor nodes, or the furniture nodes. So let's go in here, and uh, furniture nodes, this file, let's open this. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to give you a, a big uh, mess of, there we go, of all these floor nodes. Believe it or not, we're going to use one of these to do this, to do the entire room. So we'll just click on this little by here, and let's just zoom right into them. There we go. Hello. There we go. We've got one selected. Right click on them and select Entity Info. And here we go, here's his name. Furniture.floor.387 Delete the 387 or whatever number you've got on your node. Delete furniture.floor. 
that is very important for what we're going to do because we're going to put the no the uh, nodes in first then we're going to number the nodes so that's that done close that off there control C to copy him and let's just go back to the room we're doing don't need that anymore go back to the room and let's just put a node in the top corner here let's just put him there let's just there we go he's in the room now he should be on the face let's just check that yeah he's on the face good it's very important that the bottom edges of these pyramids are on the face if you don't do that your avatar is so the furniture will float in the room so if you put it on actually on the face itself it'll be on the floor now like I said we're going to use this one little node to texture this whole room so we're going to click on our move move button right here move and let's go into the in back into the node here we go and make sure that you take one of the bottom four corners not up here or anywhere else it has to be one of these here so it keeps the actual component on the floor so click the mouse and you can move them across now when you've moved them a little bit push keep them they keep the the mouse the mouse uh, going and just hit control and it will copy the original and the one that you're moving right now if you want to keep it locked on the red you just uh, push down the shift and it'll keep them locked on the red until it gets over here now this is important click the mouse button once and then don't touch anything now we're going to type slash look, look, in the, look in the length in the bottom right corner the slash and I'm going to put in here um, let's say 5 slash 5 hit enter and there we have a whole load of nodes if you click anything before you do that slash 5 it will simply copy the node and it will not do that part to get those extra nodes so you go so got the one then you got the one two three four five now here is why we, we made this a group the, the room itself we now have our five little nodes there so let's just go into an aerial view and make sure there's a room okay now you can just this is you can do this easily just selecting these uh, and copy control and add them all into a group here like this but that that works if you've got a small room if you've got a larger room then I would recommend doing it what I've just done here and make this a group hide the group select those nodes and unhide all and then get it back now so we've got a row of our nodes we're going to do the exact same thing we just we just did make sure they're all selected zoom right into here and I'll tell you what we're doing we're going to get a little bit angular so we can actually see the other end of the box there we go and click on your move make sure you get the bottom corner of the pyramid there we go and move them across down, down the green axis remember and push the control to copy and there we go, put them down here but remember again click the mouse to position them They're on the face so click it once don't touch anything else hit your slash and put five more in enter and there we have our floor completely noted out with furniture nodes now obviously this method is good for square rooms if you've got um, a strange shaped room then you can, you can still do this uh, I would highly recommend using the grouping method so you can keep your uh, so you can hide your room and easily delete 
nodes that go outside boundaries, things like that. But for this example, it's fine. Now, now, what we do next is we highlight this box. We're gonna hide it again, which leaves us the nodes. Select these nodes. You can now uh, then group them together. Nope, nope, nope. Before we do group them together, we're gonna hit the plugins and node number no, the number nodes. That will number all of our nodes. Let's just check this out. Entity info. There we go. This is a strange numbered node, okay, but it doesn't matter. They will now all be uh unique. There we go. Now what we're here doing is selecting these and grouping them together. There we go. Edit and unhide all. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna add uh, nodes onto this back wall here. So we need to go into our SketchUp and our wall nodes, click on that, I've already got it open here and there we go now. ok so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the some wall nodes onto this back section here ok so we need to go onto the folder here and click on this one here, wall nodes. Double click that to open it. This will open up a new SketchUp model with four sides and nodes on all four sides. Like before, it'll be covered in them. We only need one. Well, I say one, but what I mean is we need one per side. So we're going to do the exact same thing we just did before on the floor nodes. Here we go. Just double check with it aligned correctly. There we go. Right. Let's see, these four sides are grouped together, so let's just go in here. I'm just going to explode it. There we go. I want this one here. There we go. Get in here. Right. Go to Entity Info. And I've got here furniture dot wall dot one zero seven two. Goodbye one zero seven two. Leave us with furniture dot wall dot. And close that now. Now let's just copy him. Control C. Go to the main room. Here we go. Let's just zoom in down here and let's just paste him in. Sometimes it might appear as a little dot. What's happened there is it's copied from the actual tip. What you do is just go to your move tool, select the tip, and just pull it along. And then what you do is slide the bump corner and put it right back onto the face. It has to say on face. There we go. So there we go. So that's it. There we go. That's our uh, first wall node for this wall. As before, and we go. Select the move tool. Go in. Select one of the bottom corners of this. Put a little pyramid. Click on it. Take them up on the blue axis. Con click on the control to make a copy, and put this somewhere up here. There we go. It's going to put them there. Don't click anything, type in slash and put in three. Here we go. That's giving me four little, little dots. Okay, and we can just click on these. It doesn't matter about doing the hiding group stuff. Just click one, two, three, four. And let's just move this across the room to the other corner. Okay, maybe we'll click on the control to get the copy. Let's put them a bit there. Maybe I'll do. So click the mouse. 
then hit the slash and I'll put another five and there we go <coughs> excuse me so uh, all you do there is just do the exact same thing for all, all uh, the other three sides just go on to the this one here you can get the nodes off the other sides and there we go. I got this the these sides here. Just explode it. Select one. Entity info. And then there we go. Just change that number. So don't need that anymore. So head back into here. Actually, you know what? I don't need that anymore either. No. Right. So, we now have the two groups here and here, and then these all, all these little ball nodes. I'm just going to do the shortcut here and just hide and hide these. Select them all here. And go back to the plugins. And the, sorry, the number nodes plugin. Which will then number all those ball nodes. Now just un bring the everything back. There we go. And what's done there is now we now have all these little things here. So we've got all these furniture nodes on the floor and on the wall. Next, we're going to have to put in our standing nodes. Okay, now I think Invo have changed it lately, so it's, it has to have at least 12 of these, which makes no sense to me because you can, the maximum number for public room is 10 but whatever it's up to them if it's their decision their program anyway so let's open this up with the poses you don't need to change the numbers these are ready to be put into your room so let's just get this opened up here Okay, let's just do a quick aerial shot. There we go. Now, the way these are numbered is a little bit strange. Okay, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, someone's playing a game. And it goes 11, 12, 13, and so on and so forth. This is number 1 over here. So let's just go and take a look at him. So, we're going to want this little guy here. Uh, I'm just going to put in one one node just now. Uh, I can put more in if I wanted to. I can copy like a, like a whole line. I can copy ten and I'll copy all of these and stick them all in the room. That'll be fine. I'm just going to do one just to show you. So, so we go. we've got them highlighted. Click on Control C. Open up your room and put them on the bottom face, just control V to paste them in and I'll put them on the face if you leave it like that what will happen is your standing spot for your avatar will be floating in the air what we need to do with this is these two pyramids that are on their, on the, on the, um, on their sides click on your move tool select one of them, one of the edges not the top or the bottom you can also go here as well Click on that and drag it down through the floor. Add pick on, on shift to lock it on the blue axis. So it locks it that way. Then click your mouse button. That will then leave this uh, the standing node halfway through the floor. If you orient through here, we go orbit through, sorry. You see it's halfway through. Now the avatar will appear to be standing on the floor of your room. Okay. There is one more thing that we need to add into this to make it a room. As it stands now, this would actually be a very good um, furniture piece. You, need to, you of course need to have a furniture node for that. But to make it into a room, you need to have the camera, which you can get from Mesh Out. Example room. And put up here the example room. Is 
should really hike that, shouldn't I? Yeah, well. Hmm. Many beeps off in there here. So here we go. This is a bit of an example room. Uh, but I don't want anything in here apart from the camera. This is all grouped together. Let's just edit this component. Move that. In we go. Ah, of course. Hang on. Explode it. It's easier. There you go. The camera node is here. This one here. Start, starts here, finishes here. And, okay, so you also need to take these two little bits down here as well. So let's just... Should have got both of them. There's actually two here. There we go. And let's copy the camera. Control C takes it out, and let's just stick it into our room. There we go. Puts this on the face. I'm actually going to rotate this a little bit so the camera is actually facing the node. There we go. Now before I do anything, I'm going to have to orient this so I put... from the middle here of this little box. Select your move. Right into the middle. And what we did before with the uh, with the pose, click on it and take it on the blue axis. Hold shift and drag this down halfway through the floor. There we go, and that's our room pretty much ready to go. Uh, but do you want to put that into the centre of the room because that's far too close there? So let's just move this back a little bit. Go right here. There we go. That'll be fine. Of course, we're going to have to do some uh, texturing, of course, just so we can actually see the room and we put it into info. So let's just do that here. Right. Oh, yes. So there we go. I'm just going to. Oh, yeah, make sure you, of course, that when you done these nodes, you group them as well to make this a little bit easier, but the, I didn't do that, but it's okay, it's an example. It's a lot easier if you actually group them, because if you do this, then of course you can just hide them all in one go. I didn't, I didn't do it, I forgot to do it on this. It's okay though, it doesn't matter. <coughs> anyway, so there we go, I'm just going to explode this so I can texture these walls. I don't know if it's a dead edit grip actually. Click on the paint bucket here, I'm just going to put some basic tiles on here. Um, Just put anything, doesn't really matter. Uh, there we go. That on the floor. And just stick. This doesn't matter. Just put these on the walls. Of course, you know, when you're doing yours, of course, you'll have your textures and ready to go, things like that, and just do this as an example. There we go. It's not very pretty, I know that. <laughs> but uh, we'll do for the example. There we go. Now then, we need to get this saved. We need to actually save this first. So, file, save. Let's stick it in here. I'm going to create a little folder for it. Example. Oops. Fat fingers. In here, I'm just going to put an example. Let's save it in there. Okay. Now, 
make sure that everything you have is in the room. There's nothing hidden. If it's if, it, if it's hidden, it will not export to Envy. So make sure that everything you want is in this room. Nothing is unhidden. Nothing is hidden. Sorry. So obviously, I'm not, everything I've got here is all fine. So that's fine by me. Now, plugins down to mesh out and export MV file set. I thought I saved it. Hang on. I'm sure I saved it. <laughs> so let's save that here. Depending on the size of your room and then um, how many faces, things like that, you're probably going to take a little bit longer than I did to export. Yeah, be, 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 beware with uh, mesh out that larger rooms will take a long time to export. I've had rooms that have taken like half an hour to export, so you know just be careful of how much of what you're doing there and. Don't do anything in a hurry, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Make sure you've got plenty of time. No, it's just. Uh... Oh, yes, I forgot. About it. Um, when you do your in model on this, it'll show up with all these different colours here. These ones here are actually for the original um, avatar, the little, the little person that you load in. What I do here, just click on the eye, uh, purge unused. Now, only things that are in your model are now on here, which is really helpful. It's much better, so you can keep track of everything here. The the uh, red and yellow are from the uh, nodes. They will not export. They just the ones that are the textures on your floor and walls. They will export. So let's just uh, <coughs> go to my desktop. Uh, uh, uh. Here's my example. And as you can see here, we have our XRFs. These are for the, the um, these are for the actual um, textures. And we've got our XMF or XSF, the skeleton and the mesh. So that's pretty much what we've done here. Uh, since I used some defaults on Sketch, I'm going to have to bring those out of Sketch. Oh, just give me a second here. I'll just do this. I'm going to do that again. Um, there's a way to get these out. Ah, there we are. Export. There we go. Okay. Now then, let's go to Invo. Oh, it's me. Hello, me. Let's go to our create mode. And derive a new product. Okay. We're going to be doing a furniture room. Unless you want to do a locked room, that's up to you. Let's just name here is called example. Okay, and here we are in the at the original uh, room for envelope. Let's just go to config first of all, and let's put our skeleton in. Project. Where is it? There it is. Okay, let's just change that to this mesh file and hit apply. Now, why did it do that? 
camera is in. Why has it done that? Normally you get that error if the camera is not in the right position, which mine is. I don't understand what's happened there. Hmm. Let me just save this and I'm going to clean my cache. This is the cache screen I told you about before. I'll have to close him for to do it though. Let's just let this run. Okay, well, I'll cut it right here and I'll come back to you. So, give me a second. Okay, we're back. Sorry for that. Uh, the cache cleaner here, it does take a bit of time if you don't use it very often. So it's uh, done now, it's cleared itself out, which is great. And I'm back on Invu. Uh, I realised what my mistake. Um, let's go back into the room and here we go. What I've done here is I copied these two nodes, the node.room and the, this one here, skeleton.room. Click on the skeleton.room and delete it. There you go, you've got these two sitting flat on the floor. Save that. Plugins. And I shall export. There we go. Let's, there we go. Yes. Okay. Back into create. I've already got it saved, so I'm going to go into here and example. Chicken. This will be on its side because I've not saved it yet. Oh no, it's, it's, it's supposed to have fixed itself. That's good. That's fine. Did so it go then? Yeah, so all you have to do is just go back in here, uh, add your XSF. So there we go, blah, blah, blah. Uh, five changes, and there we go. And that's us now in our room. Hello. And just to show you, I'm just going to add some furniture. Let's just get yeah, a dinosaur in the room. we go, there's a dinosaur. Just move him around a little bit. Do, 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 do. Hello, dinosaur boy. When it comes to texturing, let's just get rid of him now. Oh, let's leave him on there. He's doing no harm. When it comes to texturing, go into your meshes, just like what you'd do with uh, any other item. And let's just... The walls was this one, I think. These are bad textures. I would not recommend using these as your texture because they're just the wrong size for Invu. So make sure you, you make sure you actually use uh, proper sizes for Invu, otherwise it was, won't really work very well. It'll look very bad. Make it make it work too hard. Make sure you do the uh, number, the rule of two, uh, the two by two, four by four. See so yeah, that that way. One two eight by one two eight. Or the uh, 128 by 256. Yeah, that sort of stuff. Anyway, there we go. There's our room. Hello, room. And that's it. That's all I have to do to make a simple basic room for input using Google SketchUp. Thank you.